Here's a real reason why Samsung wants to use Exynos 2400 SoC for the Galaxy S24 line. As you may have heard by now, Samsung is most likely developing a new Exynos 2400 chip for the upcoming Galaxy S24 flagship series, which should get the shelves in Q1 2024. And needless to say, most fans are worried that Samsung will ruin the flagship experience for Galaxy S24 customers in Exynos markets. However, there is yet hope for the in-house chipset division to hit it out of the park and for the Exynos 2400 SoC to rock our world. There are two reasons why the Exynos 2400 might be really good. First, Samsung will have a one-year break between releasing the Exynos 2200 and Exynos 2400 chips. A prolonged two-year development window for the Exynos 2400 might ensure that the chipset meets or exceeds everyone's expectations. Samsung is working with game and engine developers to make Exynos the go-to solution for ray tracing. The Exynos 2200 was just the start. It sounds like the Exynos 2400 might employ a heavily upgraded AMD RDNA 2 based graphics chip. The first generation Eclipse 920 may have had a rocky start, but the second gen Eclipse might actually be a powerful contender. And a new rumor says that the Exynos 2400 SSOC might be better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in multitasking and background task efficiency. The second and most important reason why the Exynos 2400 SLC might be a great solution is that Samsung can't afford to disappoint next year. Every Galaxy S23 user has high expectations because customers in every market have now used the fantastic Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip for Galaxy. They won't accept returning to a subpar experience hindered by Exynos-related issues, so the Exynos-powered Galaxy S24 flagship will have to make a flawless first impression. More importantly, if Samsung wants to use Exynos to propel its chipset business next year, as rumors claim it will, then the Exynos 2400 SSOC must be an example of why fabulous chipmakers should pick Samsung's foundry instead of TSMC. Simply put, the Exynos 2400 SSOC must excel in every area and impress Galaxy S24 buyers and Samsung foundry clients alike. Otherwise, Samsung's Exynos brand and its own chip manufacturing division may lose like never before. Samsung needs to promote its upcoming 3 nanometer manufacturing process for fabulous chip clients, but if the Exynos 2400 fails to impress, there's a high risk that the company will lose even more chip partners to TSMC. Worse yet, if the Exynos 2400 fails, there might be no turning back. Samsung probably knows this and logic dictates that the company must do everything in its power to avoid failing again. That is why there really is a chance that the Exynos 2400 SOC will be fantastic. But of course there's no guarantee, so here's hoping Samsung won't squander what seems to be its last chance to keep Exynos relevant. That concludes today's update. I hope you found the information useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please leave your comments in the section below. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.